Always pay attention to the person that's giving the advice, not the advice. What up, what oh, up? Pleasure, man. How are you? How are you? I'm real good. Yo, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy to meet you. I appreciate that. What's no, up, man? How you doing, Neil? My, Neil. My, my homies. How you doing, man? Tommy. How are you? Tommy? Tommy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And LeVar. LeVar, what's up, man? What's going on? Real pleasure. I like right. your shoes, man. This is like literally one of the most excited I've I'm ever super been hyped. for this meeting. <laughs> Why is that, boy? Because I really believe in this guy. He was literally just teaching. So he has a class that he is teaching and wants to take everywhere. He took the class. He's teaching people how to make money. He makes a ton of money himself. He went to Complex Con, showed up, bought one pair of shoes, made seven thousand dollars off. One of one of five. One of five. Like he knows what he's doing, and he wants to take it across the country and like teach it. these young kids. And he literally, I gave him a pen. He just ran ran me right through it. He wants to teach them how to use their money right, use little money, teach them how to make the flips. And it's he's become really independent and streetwear because it gets a negative stigma that like a lot of times. Uh, I know I've heard it personally just on social media that like you're a stupid kid that stands outside of a store for hours. You're that's so dumb for sneakers. Like why would you let, do let, that? Let's start there before we go further. I'm excited for this too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> First of all, the most interesting part about that is and thank you. That's what I say. That's what I say. Yes. Like I, like I, I agree. Like 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 my biggest thing is on that. Like for everybody like, you know, and obviously you know I have a lot of love for the resale game mm -hmm. too. I mean, the whole thing is so crazy for me. Like just, I mean, just so crazy that everything that I was as a kid that made no fucking, I mean, I, if you understood how off the fucking reservation I was as a kid, like I'm like a normal guy, so I had friends and everything, but I was so different. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 like to the extreme, like I didn't, like pretty girls liked me in high school and I didn't want to talk to them because I wanted to go to Kmart and buy Shaquille O'Neal figures yeah. to sell on the flea market on Saturday. Same. Like, like I, you know, I so yeah. my big thing on that is, on that is like, who gives a fuck what oh, people's I opinions don't. are? Yeah. I, it's so funny, I'm a winner, yep. and when I drive like to like the airport at like 5.30 in the morning, and I like, I'm like, uh, and I look outside, I see a line, I'm like, winners. <laughs> I swear on my fucking children. Yep. That's what goes right through my head. Early risers, I yeah. look, I'm like, winners, right? Yep. Like. Remember, remember, remember what, what year did you and AJ start college? 05? Yeah, 05. Before yourgrills.com, yeah. do you remember we had a site called bape the bathing ape.com? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Didn't you and AJ come down to the first bape store in Soho when it opened? We, me, yeah, I, I, sh I was obsessed with bape and then me and AJ came down and bought some in, on, on Green right? Street. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 93 Green, they still there. That's where it opened first, I remember yeah. it when it opened. Like, yeah, I'm with you. Like. Yeah, so, but because at the end of the day, like you said, winners, those same kids that are getting up at five o'clock in the morning. I want to hire all of them. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. So, like. Those are the only ones I want to talk to. Like. Like, if you got an A in, like, science, like, I don't want to talk to you. I don't you. care about that shit. Yeah. <laughs> but if you, like, woke up yeah. at 6 15 in the morning and you figured out how to pay off the guy at the there's fucking the front. Guy in the whole, there's another like, one guy in the whole field. Let called. me ask you a question. Go ahead. What do you want to happen? I want to. No, no, I'm talking people. macro for you selfishly, not selflessly. Because yeah, selfishly, I want, yeah, selfishly. I, want to, I want to impact as many people as I possibly can and basically be like, that guy Rex was, he dictated law on research. Don't sell it then. Right. You don't think? Not when you just told me that's what you want. I mean, but I'm also looking at uh -huh. it. Uh-huh, like, so let's keep playing. Okay. That's why I got excited. Yeah, but I'm also looking at it from the standpoint of impact is more important to me than like having the monetary value. So don't sell it. But how will I get it out then? If it's free, more people are gonna come. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Because I can get an investment from, okay, I see where you're going with that. I know where I, I'm going. I see where you're going with that, okay. Let's okay. play, right? Yep. Like, like, I understand, mm -hmm. but what I need to know is what you want to happen, right? So the thing that's interesting about you and why I stood up and got excited and just mm -hmm. did my little thing mm -hmm. is because I think we have a lot of similarities. I, can, I, I already knew and I knew a little something, but I can smell, I, the reason I meet is I need to, the reason I do what I do is I have to touch shit. The reason I was bad at school, like I have to do, th I have to touch it. This whole company, you know, like s sucks. Like I built a two hundred million dollar company, but I had to do it and do all the shit that comes along with it because I got to touch shit. Right. You have the ability to make money. Yeah. That's the point of the course in itself. Correct. That means you're dangerous when it comes to content. Yeah. See, the thing that's dangerous about me compared to all the other motivational, inspiring people is I don't want your money. 
because I know how to make money elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which means it's the reason I'm impacting the most people. Because money does two things for the course. One, it's a financial barrier. The people we're talking about, there's a lot of people that 250 is real money, number one. Especially if like, you know, if the attraction is, you know, this is a game that's great to like start that process. This is not for millionaires, right. uh, you know, like this is not for my employees. Uh, you know, they, you know, no it is, but you know what I mean, right? Because especially because like, w- you have a great point there which is time arbitrage. Right, this is a great game. One thing I was always bad at, and I'm still bad at it, and I turned it into my strength, is I don't manage my time well. Which weirdly worked out for me in the end because I still continue to give love mm-hmm. when I shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what's really interesting to me about you is money does two things, Rex. Two things. One, it's a, rest- it's a restriction twice. Mm-hmm. One, it's money, and that's a percentage of people, and especially, with your flavor, it's gonna be restriction to a good percentage of your audience, okay. right? Number two, for the rest of them that can afford it, for more than half of them, it puts you in a box. The box where you're full of shit, I don't believe you, you're just doing this because you want my 250. Mm-hmm. And that just leaves you with 20% of the 100% that you're trying to reach. Right. The end. <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of so and, and, and you know what's been so fun I was a whiz kid my whole life right $3,000 selling baseball cards when I was 12 went into my daddy's liquor store and fucking blew it up I'm you know I'm starting to make that transition where I get to be like the old guy right, right. it's fucking rewarding as fuck you know because like that moment that double smile for me it's the best because I know I'm right and I know Word. you know I'm right. right now if you now backtrack and say listen Gary cool but like honestly, on a real kick, of course I want to inspire. But I feel great about some for two fifty because what I'm doing is that's a deal. It's worth five thousand. Like, you can tell me anything. Nothing makes me upset. Nothing. People can tell me anything. Really, I don't think who the fuck am I to judge anybody about anything. I mean that for real. That's why I like everybody because I don't like anybody and I love everybody. It's the same shit. My opinion doesn't matter. Right. Like kind of, you know what I mean? It's just humility. Like who am I to judge? But this is why in these, like this is what we really need to think about. So let me explain. If, you know, what the, the other part that comes along with the advice I'm giving you is a totally different upside. Mm-hmm. $250 a head, even if it becomes $2,000 a head because everybody's winning and you know you can rate right, times 10,000 people, still 100,000. Real money, wealth, mansions, life, right? Still fall short if you're good enough if you give it all away for free because then where your life ends up when you're 52 is you actually own Supreme or Puma. Okay. Because you build the biggest audience. Right. I mean, that's kind of what's happening right now. Like, right. Like, at the end of the day, people come up to me and they think that I work for those people. They yeah. think that I work for All these. The like, I don't, and it's just based off of my association and how hard Work I with know. who? Like Supreme, I uh, Bape, any, yeah. uh, any of the streetwear brands that basically have... They think they're feeding you. Basically. Yeah. Well, it's me feeding myself because I'm just that dedicated to what I do. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. I would. N- I never even crossed my mind that, that you were with them like that. You can win if you're the best at what you do. Right. And I think that at the end of the day, I'm one of, if not the best at what I do. I'm, I'm definitely the most notori- notable of all the people that do what and I so do. And so here's what I would say. What, every day people tell me, why the fuck do you tell everybody the best shit for free? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, because 99% of people aren't gonna do anything about it, right. mm-hmm. and there's an abundance. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons psychologically it would make sense for you to charge is you know you're also creating a supply and demand issue that takes away your own advantage. I kinda wanna move up. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm telling you the move up is to get as many people on as possible and create no friction. There's always gonna be something else. Yeah. I'm about to make K-Swiss hard to get. Oh no, that's, that's literally what I just said about the coat. It's always gonna be something. That, that's literally, yes, I, I agree with that. The end. Yeah. Like me with events. The end. Got it? That's it. The secret is the reverse of what people think. It's some Bible shit. They were right. Just give it all away for free. 
Get it all back. Yeah, nah. So you think I should go, you think I should focus more? I think the biggest mistake that smart people are making right now is charging their audience. Okay, so. And that's what's coming to everybody, naturally. Right. I, I don't think, you know, it, I think it's, because it's like music. The music should be free. That's how you make real money. I would fucking, I'm fucking yelling on people online. I'll yell, yeah, bit torrent my book if you can't afford it. Uh. <laughs> 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 Yo. <laughs> no. I'm... Like I'm happy that some kid just heard me say that and you're gonna keep it in the edit and like I want them to hear that because what? I want him to win, I want her to win. Do I lose money because I just said it? Yep. Are there some people that don't even know what that is and they just Googled it and they're like oh shit. Yeah. Like, like yes, but like I mean it. Right, because you want people to have that information. I didn't write the book because I'm gonna make the fucking bullshit $4 per book or whatever the fuck is my cut with the publisher. I wrote it because some people learn better reading a book than watching my fucking videos. I fucking hated recording my audio book. I didn't record it for the fucking couple more sales. I recorded it because some people don't want to read a fucking bullshit book, but they'll audio the fuck out of me in two fucking gym sessions and walk in their fucking dog. Subway train, yep, yep, right home from work. The content is the magic, it's the gateway drug. I get 150,000 racks a talk because I gave away my shit for free while fuckers are trying to sell $400 e-books out there. See, I'm, that's what I'm on. Okay, well then you better fucking listen. I'm listening, all ears. <laughs> you got it? Yep. How they want it, in every format. I'm taking on all the costs. How many people we got? 20. I got 20 people on my team helping me make content. Why? Because I'm gonna give it to you in every fucking format. Audio, vlog, vlog on YouTube, vlog on Facebook, mm-hmm. podcast, Google, Apple, Samsung, you, Instagram, cool. Snapchat, good. LinkedIn, yep. Medium, good. My blog, yep. Twitter, yes. One, one interesting thing about What's that, everybody else doing? They get a little bit of a fan base on Instagram, they're like, good, I'm good here, I'm good here. Okay, that's it, that's fine. What are you gonna do when Instagram's not relevant? Do nothing else but continue to flip and make money and give away everything you got to everybody on social media at scale in a way you've never, I would tell you straight up, like straight up, take not only sell shit and make money, but take 90% of the profits and pour it back into a team and ads on social to give away shit for free. Listen to what I'm telling you. Make a million dollars, make a hundred thousand dollars, I have no idea how much money you're making. Take not, live worse than you did two years ago. This is the advice, this is the official advice. Make the money you're making, live worse than you did before this started happening. Take the money, run Instagram and Snapchat and Facebook and YouTube ads for people to see the shit for free. That's my official advice. You're too young, that's why, you got time. And that advice is predicated, if you're 98 year old Charlie, do not take that advice. That advice is strictly for you. My, do you know what my career is based on, Mike Boyd? I didn't make that much money. I built a fucking business for my dad. I had no money. I didn't own the business, so I didn't go to a bank and get a loan. I wasn't making that much money, but I lived humble as fuck. And what did I do? I saved the little I saved. So I saved 13,000 this year, 9,000 that year, right? Finally had a little something, and then Facebook and Twitter came across my desk and I fucking struck. Had I, with the little fucking money, all these kids make more money than I did. I'm being serious, no, people are. don't understand. They, you, people they, are like, oh, you had a liquor, you, 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 don't listen to him, he, had, he got a, I built my parents' liquor store for them. I got nothing. Yeah, I remember you saying that uh, if you would've spent the, the money for the clicks yeah. that you were spending, you, you spent eight, for for, you would've spent eight yeah. to 10 cents then, they were, they were like eight to 10 dollars now, that you could've basically made your, your, your parents' liquor store even that much bigger. 100,000%, 100%. Uh, so I'm just, 100%. So I get worried and the reason I'm ranting right now is I think people think I'm giving advice from my perch now. I'm giving advice I took. Mm-hmm. People trying to come up for excuses to why not to work. People trying to come up with excuses why to buy. Listen, you could buy off-whites all day if you can afford them. Right. But if you're buying them as the, like you've been saving up or robbing somebody to get them, right. you lost. Totally, totally. <laughs> And it's happening, right? Like, I'm saying it, you're saying it, like it's happening, it's unbelievable. We're 10 years away, shit's gonna be so different, man. Yeah. 
Shit's gonna be so different. It's already so different. You guys are young, like I saw it. Like hip hop was one thing. You were tough. The end. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That was it. You were a gangster. That's it. There was no other thing. You guys, you couldn't do what the fuck you were doing. A band down on your leg would fucking shoot you, you fucking <laughs> Like you know, like 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 there was one there was one there was one move. There was one move. They were all the same person. You wore Timbos, you wore starter, there was one move, everyone was the same. And if you weren't that you made up your story that you were. Mm-hmm. If you had music skills and you wanted to be a rapper and you lived in the suburbs but your aunt lived in the hood, right. you visited one time in the hood and that's where you said you were from. Right? Yeah, you said nobody to judge you. That's right. Because there was no option. Now all of you guys could do whatever the fuck you want. Yep. You're gay, good. Trans, good. Fucking want to dress like Jimi Hendrix? Cool. cool. Fucking look at you guys. It's the best. It makes me so happy. Now people can just be with you. What can anyone do right now in hip hop that's gonna feel that you can't? Work, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> you wanna be? You wanna be Cardi B? Good. Of course. What? Like what? What are you gonna judge? Nothing. That's what got me to this point. You can't tell me shit about what I'm trying to do. You're wearing a Tina Turner t-shirt. Yeah, she fire. Private dancer tour, 1985. She's the most fire. Most fire. The big but, show Big show. But you know, like it's people don't get it. It's the best. Hip hop's the most the most accepting. Yeah, no. The most. I love it, but just don't be confused. You gotta make that successful. Right. You can't just say you're a rapper. <laughs> That's why sports was the best. Nobody's like, yo, I'm a basketball player if they weren't in the league. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know? But music, I'm a rapper. Yeah. Producer. But like, you. Oh, you making music on me? This song yesterday. No, no, you're not. But on the flip side, what's amazing is on the flip side of everything we're just saying, you are maybe just one SoundCloud song away. Right. You are. That's crazy. You are just one viral fucking video yeah. away from being yeah. able to then build a huge career around music, around it. What are we living through? Right. Well, you need it one time. But you gotta put yourself out there. All these viral hits, they made shit before. Backpack Kid was around before. It was just their time. Yep. That's how I look at it. I look at it like a recycling. Most uh, most industries go into it like a recycling standard. 100%. Cause you know why, my man? Music. Cause humans are humans. Yeah. It's all the same shit. There's only like nine or ten, like people are always like, you always got, you're really good at q and I'm like, cause there's only 13 answers. You know, it's just psychology. Like either you had too much or you had too little. Either you love your parents or you hate your parents. Next, I can give you every answer after that. Right. What the internet did was it allowed the ones that didn't have as much get the advantage. Yeah. That's what got fucked up. Mm-hmm. Cause we're hungrier. Yeah. Yep. And nobody's stopping us. Now you see, it's not like you have to go outside. People think they can just sit Sitting on the internet there. all day and just and do make it. it happen. And they yeah. can. Mm-hmm. 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 But if you're really smart and you go and outside and, and you do the internet, 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 you double win. And that's, that's what basically that saying of um, not letting hard work, well, not letting talent overshadow the hard work or not letting people that like work hard. You know, work. You know what all those things are? They're just talking about balance. Yeah. It's just balance, right? It's just balance. I haven't read the articles yet, but like what McGregor did yesterday, probably just went too, like I don't know, I'm still just reading headlines, but he probably just went too far and then it's like, ah, oh, fuck him. Definitely did. He, he did, right? What happened? Yeah, he fucking threw a trash, a barricade through the window while the fighters was on the bus and like cut some dude's face up with the glass. Wait, huh? He crashed the press conference. Like, right, which is kind of like WWF some, cool. You know, some Conor McGregor shit, yeah. whatever, but then it like escalated out into like where the buses were he breaks through security, grabs like a barricade, and then like throws the shit through like a window. You know how the tour bus yeah, yeah. is? Throws it through the tour bus window in the back of the bus though, where everybody was sitting at. And it cut some guy, like three people can't fight because of that shit. I know. Yeah. Like one dude's face got all cut up. He suffered like, yeah. So he, he wild out. Like I can see you throwing it at the luggage holder. You know, yeah. oh, I want to get some uh, uh, rot. Nah, bro, that's glass. What did he do that for though? Cause he's he fucking like hacking. Guys on the bus. He's he hacking. Nah, the he's hacking culture. He's smart. Yeah, he's building he's smart. Them, so. He's smart. If he didn't throw it through the window and it just hit the back of the bus, we'd all be like, he's fucking a gangster. Yeah. <laughs> Got it? But it's all about balance. Because it went through the glass. Yeah. And then. Injured other people. And now you're like, nah. Got it? Balance.
<laughs> people that say, yo, that was cool, and then there's other people like, nah, that's kind of messed up. Yeah. And then the conversation starts. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's when the threads on Twitter go up, and then that's when oh. everybody on the internet is talking about it. So yeah. what do you think in terms like, because at the end of the day, I still want to be able to, like, uh, package this properly. I'm gonna explain. Oh, okay. You're trying to play checkers, I want you to play chess. Okay. Packaging means monetizing. Okay. And I'm trying to make you monetize in a different way. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. Packaging this to monetize is fine. And you, by the way, you're more than welcome. But my theory is the attention's worth more. That's what, I'm, that's what I mean. Well, that's it. Okay. Eliminate the friction. So Look what I do. I eliminate the friction between me and my audience. I don't charge and I put it everywhere in every shape and form. The end. That's why I'm the ultimate. I really believe that. I'm the one that's eliminating the most friction. Not looking for from, and by the way, also when you're not asking for money, it just changes the relationship. It's more genuine. Yeah, everybody's waiting for my other shoe to drop. I'm like, okay, cool. We'll see how it plays out, <laughs> you know? Now listen, I do things, I have a sneaker with case with I have a book, I'll say bye, but I don't do anything to make anybody get, like people like do the content to make them buy. You wouldn't have even realized it. You wouldn't have even realized it, but everything you would have done for free on social would have had sub conscious context to get him to pay for the $200 thing. And no, I agree. The end. So he, that's it. For me, that I'm happy to ask buy my fucking sneaker. I just don't give a fuck if you do or you don't. Yeah. I don't require you to. Mm -hmm. And I don't produce content or have meetings because that, got it? People are like, well Gary Vee, you got a book. I'm like, yes. Am I making you buy the book to then get past the fucking firewall to get yeah. to the content? Yeah, no. I have no idea if you're buying the book or not. True. Got it? You just put the information so what I want is I want to keep your purity so they fuck with you heavy. Even more. Because that's basically why people fuck with me. And like, the second you turn that switch, they won't. Not to the same level. 25% go, fuck yourself. I always knew it. I knew that shit was going to be that. The other 25 subconsciously are like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And he, hey, let him get his. He ain't, but fuck him. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's real. No, yeah. That's what the psychology is. There's only 13 answers. It might be seven, it might be 14, I'm not sure, but I'm just throwing it so out there, you know what I mean? Answers, There's just yeah. not that many answers. Yeah. Like, whoever gives most to the fucking audience wins. That's why everybody loves everybody in the beginning. They're the purest. Then the fucking hands get in the mix. So would you say with that, with that strategy, it's safe to <laughs> right? say? Right. You got it, right? I deal with it myself, that's why, because I do events in the city. And so you know. People try to tell me, they like, yo, charge $20, you will make so much money, you get all these people coming in, I'm just like, I don't want to charge them $20, I want to charge them $5. And they're like, oh, but you're not making that much money back, it's like, it's not about the money. Until anymore. you're the most important, the most connected, and Budweiser comes along so, and says, yo, I got a million for you. Then you can still do it for free. Then then you're, you're, now you're doing it really for free. <laughs> you just got an end. It's like, okay, cool, now it's free and people are getting free Budweiser. People aren't smart. They're trying to monetize them. I just want to love them. Everything else will work itself out. First of all, I always know how to make money without them. Second of all, I understand I'm going to have everybody. I'll figure out how to win. When everybody on fucking in America loves me, when the Jets go up for sale, everybody's got a dollar for me. That's how I'll buy it if I can't do it myself. Definitely That'd be some of the craziest that. shit of all time. Yeah, Imagine I live my life for the next 16 years, keep going like this, whatever, I make my little nut, but I come up 500 million short and America comes up with the other 500 million? I think so. So that's why when everyone's throwing cynicism, heat at me, I'm like, I can't hear you. Yeah, I'll, oh yeah, I've been programmed like that. I'm I get it, of course. Yeah. Listen, anybody who flips has been programmed like that because the game is dirty. What you going to Marshalls for? Right. I don't know. What you going to TJ Maxx for? What are you going to Goodwill for? Because I'm trying to make at. money, motherfucker. That's what are you doing? <laughs> like, where are you, what are you doing? I know where to spend that money and get that double maximum return on it. Period. <laughs> like, like I ain't like. No, I, I, I agree. I just want to, like I said, I'm just trying to. No, no, I know what you're trying to do. No, I mean it's like what you said, like in terms of like giving it away for free, being Bye. like relevant in terms of like your yep. craft and shit, and people will love you more. So I'm kind of at that. Point where people love me and I, I love them because I do fuck with people. And I listen to me, listen to me. Do you spend an hour a day literally on live Instagram and Facebook and just answer people's questions? No, but I spend an hour a day answering DMs because my shit be good. OD. It's good. So add it, so add another hour of fucking FaceTime. 
Do you do a random fucking secret like meet up with yeah, 80 people? Great. I do, I do that How many? On How often? Well, when the weather is nice, I try to do them shits as much as, uh, as I can. Talk. I'm, listen, by the way, I'm not judging. No, I'm no, trying no, to I'm get data. Saying, How I, often? I'll be on, no, I'll be. I don't I'll know. Do, How many times have you really said in three hours, come here and whoever shows up, I'm just gonna spit fucking shit, truth? We did. No, we was giving clothes away, like pieces. Uh, we was we did that shit like three, four times last summer. Great. Like, over summer, yeah, we did. Do it every day. Here's what I'm saying. Do some Everything shit. that got you here, uh-huh. do more. Okay. What you're doing is, like this is what I tell everybody, like that's, not much has changed, Mike. It's true. Like a lot has changed and nothing has changed. These are the same fucking meetings. Mm-hmm, it's true. Right? Yeah. They're, just, they're just different people, man. Like it's just the same shit. The Mac Millers and Wiz Khalifas and Nitsi Hustles went on to become superstars. <laughs> and some of them didn't. But it's all the same it's shit. For all the you know, princes and frogs. Some of the people you thought were gonna be the biggest stars of all time, they got mm-hmm. caught up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of the people that you weren't sure, they became the biggest. Yeah. Yeah. Titty Boy had to change his name. Hmm. He forever Titty Boy to me. Hmm. <laughs> right? He just changed his name. Yeah. What's up? You know, Travis Porter I thought was gonna be the biggest thing of all time. Yo. Never changed my name. Oh wow. my god, yo, wow. being from Atlanta, I can truly tell y'all. Travis Porter. Guys, Travis, P- guys, Dash. guys, Travis Porter is the Migos. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Yo, yo, I swear. Yeah. I, just, yo. I just said that shit. Yo, I, I truly crazy. believe that. Like, that's the <laughs> first three man yeah. group that's the lights just came lights on. Lights came on like, yo, I was literally just doing the same thing. It was a big moment. It was a big moment. Tyler, I'm under, I'm underrated. I'm underrated. I've been trying to tell people. I know you know. They don't know. They don't know. They definitely. Yeah. Look, bro, that's the first three man. Three man, group yeah. You was just like, oh my God, what's about to happen? And they came with a new style. That, that was the gem of gems. Man, Dude, who had a test? Mike's so happy right now. <laughs> Yo. So, anyway, listen, it is all. So, back to what that means for you. Mm-hmm. Do what I'm doing. And you will be so fucking big, you will remember this meeting for the rest of your fucking life. Oh, it's lit. You ain't got just lit. give at scale. Don't try to make a dollar out of anybody who follows you on the craft of this. Teach them how to fish. Be fishers of men. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> just keep teaching them. Jesus shit right you know? now, bro. But seriously, man, <laughs> just keep, honestly, just keep teaching them. Oh, yeah. And then, and then you do continue to do your craft. You know? And that will work in parallel and amazing shit will happen. The power is in the attention. What do companies want with Cardi B? The fact that she got the whole shit, everybody watching her. That's it. Yeah. And so whether that's because you're pretty or because you're... Ratchet. Can you rap or ratchet or because you can dunk or because you're thoughtful or because you, you... Like whatever it is in the world, it's all the same game at the end. Exactly what you 2 does and what Tiger Woods does and what fucking, you know, the Migos do. It's all the same game. It's when it's all melted down, it's just to... How much time did you spend paying attention to? Period, and the story, done. Sporting events are long. Why are basketball players more important than football players? Because you can see their whole face. Yep. yep. Like if I owned the NFL, yep. I would take helmets off now and nothing to do with concussions. You can connect with the person who I just, I just want sport. people to see Von Miller's face more often. Will Sorry. it be different hitting? Yes. Would I give a fuck? No. Because football would be bigger. You know why in Atlanta clubs, football players walk in with chains with their numbers on it? Because you don't know who they are. You don't know who they are. Because yeah. you know yeah. when you see a basketball player, you, you know, know exactly who, who that that's is. LeBron. Oh, right. yeah. that's Westbrook right there. But even soccer, same shit. Like being that it's like the biggest sport in the world, they run around when they do they little that's poses it. and shit. You can see who that's it is. It. It's like mm-hmm. glory. Like, so do you understand? Yeah. So that's what you're trading him, my guy. Attention. So basically, I just spend all my time working my face off so I can make money other ways, so I can bring the most love, so I can get attention because I earned it, because I'm bringing value, the end. Simple. Mm -hmm. Create no friction. Charging, friction. Not being on every platform, friction. That's fucking true. That's true, because people try to tell me stop using Facebook, and I'm just like, for what? Facts. For what? I'm fucking Why? obsessed with Facebook. Why would I sit on Instagram all day and do things? 
I can do things on Twitter. I can do things on Facebook. Do it all. Oh, 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 oh. And when shit's not popping, that's when it's popping. Yeah. I'm obsessed with Snapchat right now. That is busting. It's crazy. So many people got off Snapchat. The only people I see on Snapchat are him and Future. Yeah. So now you got a bigger platform. So now it's like back. I see everything future posts. Because when Rihanna started messing with it, everybody that messed with Rihanna was just like, yeah, we're not using Snapchat no more. That's what fine. Now, hey, you just build a bigger audience for everyone else that does still use it. Mm-hmm. And guess what? 15 year olds are on there. Yup. And guess what? They'll be 25 in 10 years. 10 years. Mm-hmm. And they'll be watching that for 10 years. Oh, that's what I'm on. I'm, I'm going after that. that that's, mm-hmm. that's, my whole, that's my whole tweet. Is like and guess 10. what? Sit down and get disciplined. I can't write for shit. Guess what? Be- even before I had people helping me write, like write a post on LinkedIn, write a business post. You write a business post on LinkedIn, change your whole game. That's that shit. Is like people probably looking for you on LinkedIn. Like, and yo, don't I know, know who you are. Yet. I definitely got LinkedIn. There's not a single fucking person who knows who he is on LinkedIn. What the hell is LinkedIn? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't, that go what the hell is LinkedIn? What is LinkedIn? Post LinkedIn post. originally started as a place where you could. It was a job platform where people That's recruited. What I thought it was. But now people are putting content. Yeah. And so you there can go in with more of your professor shit. You go with a little more culture flavor on Instagram. You can go a little bit different on radio. There's so much to do. Where's your podcast at? Oh, I'm got one coming with uh, Good, good. It's gonna be a streetwear podcast. They only good, can so good. Do a podcast good, starting good. In the summer. But that's Foot Action's podcast, my yeah, guy. Yeah, but you, yeah. The yeah, end. Where's right. your podcast? I don't know yet. But now that you put me on to this shit, it's like, here we go. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's fun, right? Yeah. And listen, it's fun for me too and I get different things from like the old man in the fucking retirement home who teaches me about life. This is what, listen, as somebody who thought he was the smartest and best of all time at 22, experience fucking matters. I couldn't give this at 22. It's pattern recognition. I did this shit. You got it? I don't think I'm better or smarter or OG or whatever. I just think I lived longer. You would've gotten here anyway. I'm just trying to right. save you some fucking time. Okay. You know, it's, you know, like, I don't feel special. I'm just trying to help you. Just save you a fucking I'll few minutes. <laughs> Where do you guys live? Brooklyn. I'm from Ohio originally, though. Ohio? Yeah. Or Iowa? Ohio? Yep. Yeah. What part? Uh, Akron. Mm-hmm. Jesus, you really love LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, right? Like, better. You don't? Yeah. Well, yeah, man. I used to live, I if I lived man. in Akron, I'd have LeBron. I'd, I'd, I'd probably have a face tattoo of LeBron's face nah, over my own right. face. We got, we got, we got. <laughs> if I'm from Akron, my God, we got, we got. I would literally like transfer. I would like. I'd be white. It'd be weird. Face People would be like, "That's some racist I, shit." I'm like, "I don't give a fuck, I'm LeBron." Just <laughs> yeah. nah, I, Seriously, in Ohio, you never won any championship, and LeBron yeah, did yeah. it, guys. You don't even understand. It makes no sense. It's a fairy tale, some movie shit. Whoa, some kid's gonna grow up in Ohio, become one of the great basketball players of all time, and then, end up on the Cavs, leave, come back, right. win, be down 3 1 against the fucking squad that was the generational squad. Fuck you. LeBron's a movie seven times over. That's a Space Jam. Yeah, that's Yo, if he do Space Jam, he tr- by the way, die. by the way. He was, he was, uh, that was in the works. Yeah, I remember. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know if Mike killed us. Like, Some, like, somebody killed us. What are you doing? Or they couldn't make a deal. I don't know. It was Mike definitely. Mike killed that. I know Mike killed that. Like, definitely. yo, y'all not finna say he is great. It's really been mm-hmm. interesting. You know, honestly, probably the one thing, especially in your culture, the one thing, I'm gonna give you a really interesting piece of, of content for you to think about. It's crazy where Jordans are in culture right now. Mm-hmm. You could have never told, how long you been in the sneaker game? Shit, since I could know what a sneaker was. Could you have ever, school? could you have ever imagined it being less, like this, not this relevant? Like it's relevant, but like so much has chipped away at it in the last oh, five years. Oh, it's more fish in the, in the sea now. Jordan was like the only go-to. Correct. When he was, when he was mm-hmm. younger. Now it's more, now remember, it's what I was, remember what I was telling you about like the lake that you're in, is different, yep. you know what I'm saying? Now, it's cra- you got Kanye, Kanye you got Virgil, Virgil. Nike right, stepping right, up their right. stuff. You got uh, so, uh, yeah, Big Sean got a shoe. You Pharrell, know, everybody. Jay Z. Like Trevor. it's just so much different stuff in terms of, like the athletes got to compete with the entertainers now. And, and I think this is the first time Adidas has ever had like oh so yeah many shoes to come out. Oh listen, that's why listen. Brand, Jordan went to Drake. Like you just said, why would a brand want Cardi B because of the attention they could get? Jordan knew what they was doing when they went to Drake. They went to Drake because he was the most relevant rapper at the time that was on fire. You got to rock in five minutes.
Cool. So you gotta see how and then you gotta go big thing. Great. Cool. So yeah, it all reverts back. Nobody in the sneaker game would have thought it could have happened this fast. This all happened in the last three years. Yeah. It would happen real fast. Yeah. Real fast. Exactly, real fast. Drop. Holy shit. I'm really like, thinking even when I was in high school, like, damn, Jordan's people was killing kids over right. space jams. Yeah. Right. Yo, now you got, can get a yeah, space yeah, jam yeah, for eighty yeah. bucks. It's not a single person in this room wearing Jordans. Three years ago, forty four out of five. Yeah, I love you. Yeah. I almost had a pair on. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, Jordans are. Listen, today. I've never. I, listen, I've never owned a pair of Jordans because fuck him. But, <laughs> but, they're great sneakers. Yeah. Um, and they're still great, and they play, and people wear them all day. But not really. Like they were the only thing people wore. Yeah, that and Air Forces. That was it. And Tim's, like you said. Mm-hmm. I wore Air Forces because I hated Jordan. That was it. That's all I wore. Yeah, I definitely remember those days. Hella Forces. No, I used to. That's all I had. Uh, being, I'm from East St. Louis originally, mm-hmm. so forces. Air You're from where? I'm from St. Louis originally. We know what you're. In fact, I know all I know these guys. <laughs> are from guys for a very long. I know, I know. But what about the St. Louis part? Oh yeah. I'm, I found that out later because he's an Atlanta guy. Mm-hmm. He's yeah, Atlanta, down there Atlanta, Atlanta with all. Yeah, I got it. He told me he's from East St. Louis, and I was like, damn, that touched my heart. Yeah, I've been you know? like, I grew. How far? What part are you from? I'm from St. Louis. East St. Louis is. He's from right across Illinois, the Illinois. It's. Much worse as yeah. far as like economy. And, I got it. You know, it sucks. But it's, it's, <laughs> there's <laughs> level. There's level of suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. It's like so that's the first time you can say it's truly a level of sucking. <laughs> yeah, that goes on. Like it sucks really bad, then it just sucks a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, like Akron just sucked. Jackie it wasn't Joyner really Kersey's sucky. It was great. Jackie Joyner cursors from there. Uh, For real? Yeah, JJK. It, it got the same. Yeah. Man, Mary she was. Miles. She's such so an athlete. Like Brownsville. Oh. That's like the Brown. No, East St. Louis is like the Brownsville of of yeah. St. Louis. It's like how you go to like uh, Brooklyn and you. Go you understand, man? In this, no, yeah. Bushwick. Got it. I'm glad you came. Get a cab. Yeah. Yeah. I'm real glad you yeah. came. Like, you, you, know, food, bro, you know what I mean? Like, I Louis, I basically, like, I what you're saying. Around. I've been just like you kind of just come around what I was already doing. And it's 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 no city, but no you were about to graduate, and that graduation is actually the recession. So just chill and let it keep building. Triple. It's already, it's already put me think about how basic it is. Yeah, right. Triple down on what fucking got you there yeah, no, instead of doing exactly. something completely different. No, it makes perfect sense. Oh, the streets fuck with you, and then you got put on, and now you're gonna big time the streets. You fucking idiot. Yeah, no. How the fuck do you think you got there? Exactly. No, I say that all the time. I, that's <laughs> basically what I say. But I, I also be feeling like <laughs> where I got where I'm at. So, one more thing, and I know you gotta go. Um, but I just my thing is this though. Would you agree to say that first to dictate is he who determines standards of said industry? Like, so if I'm the first person to be vocal about what's being said, do you think that that would basically set the bar for any copycats or things that would follow? I think I think that there's a land grab when you're first and you're right. Right. That is great. Right. I think when it comes to copycat, it's just noise. If you're better, you win. If kid comes along the way and plays your blueprint and he's better, she wins. Sorry you're sad. That's what fucking all this angst in the rap game is. Yeah. Oh, you came and started rapping like me? Well, sorry I'm, I'm going I'm well. sorry, I'm sorry Lil Yanni was in Arkansas State or whatever the fuck and fucking didn't. Like, I get it that you've been a fucking, I, I get that you grew up in a jazz home and this and that, but that's just the way it is. It just is what it is. Like, sorry, you're like, listen. And it's like, why you mad at him? And by the way, honestly, like, I don't think of it as hate or I really don't or bitterness. I just think it doesn't matter. To, like, I don't think people understand. I'm not looking at like the old crowd and be like, oh, that's not real music. I'm like, I don't look at it as hate. No. I just don't think either is right or it matters. The market is the market is the market. Everybody copies my shit. I'm sure I copy other people's. That. That's not, look, what, you're the first person to talk about resale no, culture the on the thing. internet? Get yeah, the fuck out of here. That's what I'm saying. People were making garage sale videos on YouTube in 06. Like, okay. like, that's all I wanted, that's all I was saying. Like in terms of like. But you platform. always you always are worried, about, like everyone's about themselves, right? Like right. kind of like, you're not gonna be the first, you're not gonna be the last. Just be the best. Say less, no, I was already on. And, <laughs> and just recognize that when you're the best, you just don't wanna end up Rocky Three. <laughs> Right? Got you. Because you're the best, you're the best, and then you got robots and then Mr. T punches your fucking face off. Right. The reason I'm fucking working harder and smarter and giving more is I know I'm winning, which means I'm vulnerable. Basically, that's kinda, yeah. You did it right on the head right there. That's actually kinda how I feel. I get it. Oh, thank you. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> which is why I know that, because it's why you're smart. You're saying, okay, look, I'm vulnerable now, 
The information is going to get there. People are coming up. I, the, you know, you you always know it, right? It's like an athlete. Back to sports, you knew when that one kid. You just saw something where some kid was coming from even less than you, yep. and is a little more. And you're like, yeah. I know exactly what that is. You're like, that was me 24 months yeah. ago, and I know I can't beat that because I got my off whites now. I had a nice meal. So you said, cool bet. I'm smart. I'm going to start building a different thing that scales. I'm saying exactly, but go even higher. What? The end. <laughs> Experience, baby, right? Yeah. You'll be doing the same thing one day. Experience, man. Fuck. Yeah, because I'm basically, I want to do what you do in my arena. You know what the best part of being an entrepreneur is? You don't get slow. Nope. Not at all. You get smarter. Kobe got slower. Yeah. LeBron's going to get older. Yep. That's just life. MJ's wizard. MJ and the Wizards wasn't that same MJ. That. That wasn't Jordan. That you know, but for me, I'm not na- I'm now 42. I'm in the best. I'm in the prime. What happens with entrepreneurs? They get too rich, and then they start trying to use their money to stop the young bucks. Oh no! Nah, nope. You know, oh. always pay attention to the person that's giving the advice, not the advice. Oh, you know yeah. who's telling you to charge 20 bucks? Non-winning players. Yep, I already know that. And that's why I don't listen to them. So when people are like, Gary, <laughs> like, people, like sometimes in this moment, people are like, yo, but, my, but, but fuck, I'm like, you're saying the opposite shit. I'm like, cool. I'm like, who's telling you the other thing? Exactly. Now, now, if they're like, Diddy, then I'm like, okay, well then you have got to make a decision. Because there's a million ways to win. Yeah. But 99% of the time they're saying shitty. Is giving me that advice. Oh you know God. what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, I have a question. 